So I created this look, super simple. It's great for going out or if you just want to look a little grungy and a little more rock and roll. It's basically like a matte halo eye. So yeah, let's go get started. Let's not waste any more time. I'm going to use this NARD foundation. I know that probably what you want to see is the actual eye tutorial, so I'm just going to go through all these steps super quickly. But I do want to mention the products because sometimes I forget what I'm wearing and if I get asked like, what were you wearing on your lips or what foundation is that? And then I'm like, I forget. Basically the concealer I always use. So I'm going to bronze up with the NARS bronzer and cream. I have a comparison video with this one in the rose ink, so I'm going to leave that linked in case you are interested. I cannot pronounce this name at all. Laura Mercier. <laughs> Laura Mercier. So now I'm going to set with the Laura Mercier. I got this one at the Sephora birthday gift and it's so hard to like get powder out of here. And now I'm going to use this Sunny Blush from Benefit. It's like an orangey, peachy tone. I can't really put my finger on it, but it definitely has fragrance. So now for lips, I want to really get the lips out of the way. I'm going to use a Victoria Beckham and Rose Ink. Victoria Beckham in 04 and a Rose Ink on a Be Set It. Okay, so I think this is really just my base makeup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyes now, which is the fun part. I really wanted to do a halo eye that is all matte. I don't want it to have any shimmer, even though with shimmer, it always looks absolutely gorgeous. But I just love matte makeup. I don't know. And I've been also loving a good smoky eye. I think it's so edgy and so elegant, I feel. Like if you do it right, it could look really, really elegant. But I actually really love to look kind of grungy and rock and roll. I'm obviously going to use the Makeup by Mario palette. I just want to see how many looks I can get out of it. I'll probably do a couple more tutorials with this eye palette. So let's start. I'm going to start um, with just a transition shade, that top one right there. So try to relax the eye so you can actually see your crease because sometimes we like do our eyeshadow like this but it's not natural that's not how your eye is gonna look normally so i have to remember to drop the brow so i can actually see where the placement is gonna be so i'm just using a blending brush this one's from so ava i love so ava brushes I so now i'm gonna start building the halo eye i'm gonna use that one right there so this one i'm gonna use more of a denser brush this one's from makeup by mario it's the e4 i'm gonna start building the outer and inner corner of my eyes start by putting it here just like that and i kind of like drag it in a little bit a little bit of a c shape and i'm gonna go back with the other brush and i'm gonna blend it out you're just gonna build it up and blend a lot a lot of blending and for the halo eye effect you're just gonna leave that center part of the eye without any color a little bit on the bottom we're gonna add eyeliner in the waterline later but i really want something for the liner to transition now i'm gonna add the same color in the inner corner of the eye I'm doing this with brown so it's a little bit like softer but you could definitely do it with black if you're confident and comfortable and I'm gonna put a little bit on the under eye as well and I'm gonna blend the, the under eye so right now it might look a little weird but we're building it what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use eyeliner you can use a brown eyeliner but I'm gonna use a rock and coal bedroom black from Charlotte Tilbury I always use it I really don't want to do any top eyeliner because I really want the halo effect to kind of like show up a little more. However, with a smudger brush, I am going to smudge out the bottom lash. I don't really want to wing it out too much, but you could definitely wing it if you feel like it suits your eye shape. But I honestly feel like it looks cool. Like not everything needs a wing liner and not everything has to be winged. I feel like with Instagram makeup, like everybody has to add the liquid eyeliner. This is basically the look in terms of eyeshadow and eyeliner. So you need one transition shade, one dark brown shade, and a black eyeliner and you're good. Like three things. So I'm going to go in with a super volumizing mascara. I really feel like this look really calls for big thick lashes. This one's from Patrick Ta's Major Volume Mascara. 
So yes, this is the look. I enjoy it for a night out, glam it up with cool earrings, but you could also switch the earrings and just make it look more rock and roll. You know what I mean? Like I think the hair and your outfit really like changed the whole vibe. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed creating this look and I'm kind of like obsessed with it. I kind of want to wear it. Every time I go out, I want to wear this look. So let me know what you think. Let me know what else I should create with the Mario palette. I think I want to do a brown kind of smoky eye, like a full brown matte eye look. So yeah, let me know if you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a subscribe. And for anybody who recently subscribed to the channel, thank you so much and welcome. I will see you on the next one.